Angelica Generosa is one of Pacific Northwest Ballet's most exciting core members. With the charm of a soubrette and the power of a virtuoso, she's quickly become a fan favorite in Seattle. Dance Magazine followed her through a day of rehearsals this spring. I'm a morning person, so I usually tend to wake up at 7.30. I take a shower, brush my teeth, make some breakfast, finish sewing my point shoes and put up my hair real quick, and then um, I head out at 9.15 to the studios. I'm Angelica Generosa, and I'm a dancer with the Pacific Northwest Ballet. When I first started in the company, I was very um, timid and kind of scared because I didn't know anyone. It was a whole new atmosphere, but they were so welcoming and friendly and we all treat each other like we're family. At 10.15, we have company class with Peter Bull, who's the artistic director here. And um, Peter's class is usually a lot of musicality and phrasing, which I enjoy, which I like to do as a ballet dancer. And um, Peter's great as a teacher, uh, gives great corrections, it's very encouraging. His voice is very calming, so it makes it really relaxing to start off the day with some smooth plies and tendus. Well, my mom put me in ballet at four, and then I saw New York City Ballet do Stars and Stripes at nine and decided to continue with ballet. I did a summer program at School of American Ballet for two years, and then I was invited to stay for that year and stayed for four years. And at um, 17, Peter Bull saw me in one of the performances and um, invited me to come to Pacific Northwest Ballet. And I said yes. In 2011, I started my first year with the company as apprentice. And currently, I'm a core member. And I don't regret anything. I love where I am right now. After company class, I had a square dance rehearsal with Peter Bull. Square dance is at George Balanchine's ballet, and uh, it's one of his classics. It's very, very peppy and upbeat. It's very quick and a lot of point work for the women and a lot of dancing for the men as well. The first section includes the corps de ballet with the men and the women and with the principal dancers. And then the second section is just the principal couple doing a little pas de deux. And then there's a finale with the corps de ballet, which is what I'm doing. And it's all together dancing, fast movements and a lot of point work again. Peter's a really great coach. Um, his rehearsals are very laid back. It's very calming. He gives such great corrections and a lot of positive energy. And he wants us to feel healthy and prepared and happy with the program that we would be doing. So after square dance rehearsal, I go to the Romeo and Juliet rehearsal. We were rehearsing the ballroom scene, which is um, Act One. I was rehearsing with one of our artistic staff, ballet master Paul Gibson. This version is the John Christoph Mayo version, which is not your classical storyline. There's more contemporary movements, more modern steps involved in it. It's mainly focused on Romeo and Juliet. So the core, um, we don't really dance as much. There's a lot of acting instead of dancing. So I find this one a little bit easier. Paul is very efficient and um, very, very uh, critical about formations and um, giving the steps where we feel very comfortable and understand it. After 
after that rehearsal, I had a, another Romeo and Juliet rehearsal, and that's with another ballet mistress, Anne Dabrowski. And we were working on another street scene from Romeo and Juliet, and it's like the drunk street scene, so everyone's a little tipsy and dancing with each other and having a good time. getting from one place to another, for sure. Formation is key in that part because it shows a lot of the group dancing and being unison with each group is important too. That's it, that's a sketch. So I get an hour lunch break and then I start my next rehearsal from four to seven. More Romeo and Juliet. We're putting the whole production together tonight. So we are going to have our first full run through for three hours. I'm excited to see everyone's part come together. I also really love the Romeo and Juliet part of it. I think it's really beautiful in this ballet. So I'm really looking forward to see everyone be part of it. <laughs> fun. I think that's actually the most dancing that the girls and guys do. Um, we get to wear um, modern-esque ballroom gowns with masks, which is really fun. So I, I've always enjoyed that part. And the other one, we have a fight scene where um, Romeo and Tybalt get in a fight. So the fight scene, instead of in fast motion, it turns into slow motion and everyone does like slow motion fighting, which I think is funny. <laughs> the hard work that you really put into it and then that product you get to show it to people the audience when you get on stage that's so rewarding for me and especially like during Nutcracker time or any time that kids get to watch the show and they look up to you and they want to be the dancer or you one day because you were once in that position too especially me I was very <laughs> inspired when I saw an older dancer. So after the day is done, um, my boyfriend, Paul, usually we decide to have like a dinner date once in a while. So he's gonna pick me up in front of P&B and we're gonna head to a restaurant and take my mind off dancing. <laughs> 